Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. And I'm very excited to do this one. Um, I've already done two of these, so I don't think I need that much introduction. But basically, um, I'm going to be telling a story about my scar. I've already done two of these. I talked about the time my um, I like my head hit a brick. About this time, my like chin went like straight into a bowling ball. I already did a video about the time my like tooth went through my lip. Um, fun, fun stories. Again, I just really like stories about scars. So this is the last one. Um, I think every other injury I've had isn't like, you know, interesting enough to make a video about. So th this one I think is the best one though. Ex yeah, e it's even better than uh, the time my tooth went through my lip. This one is funny. This is like like darkly funny so a little bit of backstory for this one I'm just gonna kind of do a play-by-play -play. so as a little kid um, I remember we had like a lake outside of our house um, it's Minnesota it's not that uncommon to have lake houses um, you know there's literally 10,000 of them I don't know if you've heard of that yeah it's uh, there's a lot of lakes so if anything like it's weird if you don't live near a lake but um, our lake, um, you know, we were able to swim in and all this other stuff. And I remember um, my cousins were over during the time being, and um, we went for a good old swim. Uh, I remember I was swimming, like, like, I was trying to go, like, earlier than all the other kids, uh, my brother and my cousins. So I went by myself, and, you know, that got boring real quick, and they were taking too long. So I got out, and that's when they suddenly all of a sudden wanted to go swimming, and... They started swimming, and I was like, well, fuck you guys. Like, I already did this. So I just went inside and played video games. Um, and I remember playing, it was a PlayStation 1 game I was playing. It was a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And the only thing I remember about this Yu-Gi-Oh game was that there was this one character who was literally unbeatable. This guy was a monster. I hated him. My brother and I tried beating him countless times countless times Ugh. um yeah and i remember this one particular day i just happened to do really good and i don't know i think i was like just about to beat him or i like actually beat him like i and i literally was kind of like what 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 and i was losing my mind about this and i instantly had to tell my brother and you know he was out swimming at the time so like, I, you know, just thought I'd meet him out there, go swimming again, put my already wet swimsuit on. And I went out there, and I was, like, I just literally jumped in the water, and I was like, yo, uh, Marcus, like, my brother, get, come upstairs. Like, you gotta see this. I think I was trying to make it a surprise, right? So, I, uh, <laughs> uh, I, like, hop out of the water, and instantly I was just like, what? And there was a sharp pain in my foot as I was hopping out the water like I was like halfway down the dock and I like went from a limp to like suddenly collapsing on the ground like I don't know if I was trying to play off my injury but um, suddenly I was lying down on the dock with my foot covered in blood and what happened was when I was in the water like right when I was about to jump out like I think I like Cause like if the dock was like about as high as my neck level, I would have to like plant my feet on the ground and like push up, right? So I think what happened was my foot either like dr like I think there was a piece of glass in the lake floor, so my foot went straight into this piece of glass. If it wasn't a piece of glass, it must have been like part of the dock or whatever or something. I assume it's a piece of glass. That if honestly that surprised me less. I don't think part of the dock would cut my foot open like this. So, I remember just bleeding all over the place, and my cousins and my family were kind of like, what? What? So, my dad, you know, like, grabbed a first aid kit, wrapped up my foot, and, like, carried me inside, and I remember spending, like, the rest of the day on the couch. Um, you know, I, I remember going to sleep for a long time. You know, completely forgot about this video game that I just achieve this great feat on or whatever so um after a little while you know i think that we had dinner or whatever and then i went back to the video game 
and my mom or I assume it was my mom turned off the game so after I accomplished this amazing feat and after I bled for it and after I went through all this I walked away with nothing and my brother like I don't I think he didn't even believe me I don't know if he believed me or not like like <laughs> Like, because we thought he was, like, literally unbeatable. Like, the computer just wouldn't let you beat this game. So, I was so pissed. Like, and I, it was, it was like, you ever been so pissed that you just kind of give up on everything? You're just kind of like, whatever. And that's how I felt. And I remember my cousins, uh, they were going on this big trip to North Dakota, like, right after this. And they were talking about, like, bringing my brother and I. But, you know, they couldn't do it because of, you know, space in the car and uh, just stuff like that. But after I got this foot injury, that made it available. You know, they had one slot open, so my brother got to go on this amazing trip, and I got to stay home and, you know, medicate my foot. And, um, looking at my foot now, like, I don't even see it. I don't even see the scar, in all honesty. Like, it, like I remember having it for years. Um, but I think just over time, like, because I was pretty young when this happened. I want to say I was, like under i was definitely under like 10 years old so i was pretty young when this happened so the scar has pretty much completely faded um like i'm looking at my feet right now um i don't even remember i want to say it was my right foot i don't even remember i don't see it though on either foot i, f I feel like it's my right foot though because i just have the memory of it like, i kind of see like little lines that could be it like i remember where it happened and that's not where I see the lion, so I think it's just completely gone. But, um, yeah, like, back-to-back -back just terrible news for a little kid, you know? You beat this video game, and, or not, I didn't beat the video game, but I beat this unbeatable character, and I don't even remember the name of the character. He was, like, this Egyptian weird-looking mother. Um, I beat the game and, you know, didn't get the credit for it. I cut my foot open and had to, like medicated for a long ass time i think it was summer so i didn't like miss any school or anything like cool stuff and i didn't get to go on this amazing trip to north dakota and i didn't get to see like bears and mount rushmore and all this other fun stuff that my brother got to do so damn like uh, like that sounds so depressing when i speak back on it but like it's such a fun story like look like remembering it like this like it's it, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about fun scar stories like I can only imagine the fury of this little like pre puberty kid uh, just upset about video games and his foot and not being able to go on the trip uh, whereas this that happened to me nowadays I'd still be pissed as hell about it but um yeah and I don't think I can ever swim in that lake again. Like, somebody died in that lake. Somebody, um, like, who, like, was staying, like, renting the house that I used to live in. And, you know, like, I bled in that lake. Like, bad, like, just things that make me, like, not want to ever swim in that lake ever again. So, I, I, I honestly don't think I'd be able to. And, like, it was, it was, pro like, it was probably gross. Like, it was this tiny little lake that I'm sure, like, I remember it was green a lot of the time, just, uh, just, uh, so, that's one thing I don't think I'll ever be able to do again, but if I do, I'm gonna look for that piece of glass, and I'm gonna try to rip it from the ground, and I'm gonna, like, I didn't even go looking for the piece of glass, like, despite the fact that, you know, someone could easily cut themselves on it, but if I ever find that piece of glass, I'm gonna, like, I want to say destroy it, but I might just keep it for, like, uh, sentimental value. Like, hold on to this piece of glass. It'd be fun. Like, what if there was, like, a blood stain on it from my foot from, like, decade ago? Over a decade ago, I think. That would be hilarious. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to cut it for today's story. Um, again, if you guys have any fun stories like this, please leave them down below. Um, but... Um, I hope you guys are having a good morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, with that, I leave you.